How do you approach this match at Chelsea then this weekend? Same mindset, same competitive uh, aspect to our play, same drive and desire that we showed second half more. Uh, but you know, in the game against Bournemouth and the game against Palace, um, recognizing that you know we're we're up against outstanding individuals, you know, international players, elite footballers. I keep saying, um, especially at the top of the pitch. But you know, we we're there to compete. We're there to get a result. You know, it's it's not. A free it. I don't like that. I don't like a free it. We, we you know, we we want to show a consistent performance, um, like we have done in 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 the first three games. And um, you know, we we lost a tight game last week, and we're disappointed because, you know, I think if we'd have got out of the traps and been a little bit more aggressive and a little bit more ambitious first half, and and the players have not sat off as much as they did first half, I believe we would have got a result. So, all a learning curve as well. But we go to Chelsea. Uh, we know that they're a really good side. We, you know, I've, I've seen the results, but I've seen the performances as well, and, I, and I'm of the same opinion of, uh, of the manager of, of that. I didn't think he was trying to spin anything on the first day. That that game was as, a lot tighter than the scoreline reflected, and uh, they started their last home game, you know, against um, against Leicester City in real full throttle. Um, so. You know we have to be right from the off, but we feel that you know our shape. If we get the balance right between you know sitting in and getting our our shape defensively right, but when we've got the ball being positive, that, that hopefully we can cause them a few problems. But we've got to do a lot of things right Saturday. We've got to defend very very well, and we've got to make sure that we're better with the ball, which disappointed me on on the previous game because we we gave the ball uh, away too cheaply uh, and to to really good players. They hurt you. Which obviously resulted uh, in in one of the goals on on uh, on Saturday first half. How much as a perhaps a difference, I suppose, having got promoted from the Championship is about capitalising on moments in the Premier League because invariably all teams seem to get less. It as a sweeping statement, it can be at times a bit more patient in its in its build up than than it is in the Championship. So when you get that chance, you got to take it. Big moments, yeah, I, I, and I believe when we got back to one one on Saturday. That I expected us to go and kick on, and and to be fair to, to to Brendan, he made a change, and his substitutes come up and stuck one in the top corner, which is an outstanding finish. So, you know, we need to find that little bit of quality when we need to, to to, to take that score from from one one to two one. Uh, and, um, you know, we've looked up looked at the build up to 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 the goals and what we need to do to affect that. But there are small moments and tiny margins at times. So. Against the team that you know, to be fair, went to Chelsea second half and and dominated the game. They didn't first half. You know, it was, it was Chelsea's game first half, especially first 20 minutes. But they dominated the game second half, and uh, and we we dominated the game against them. So you know, you can look at you know individual games. Um, it's difficult to say. Well, they did that to them, and so we should do that to them. It's, that's a you know, it's not a way really to to, to look at it, uh, but we have to back ourselves. You know, and um, if we do get a result, it won't be the biggest result that we've ever got, uh, or or the biggest shock in football. So we have to back ourselves. We have to believe in ourselves, but we certainly respect respect the opposition, what they've got, what they've got at the top of the pitch, um, the history, the manager that they've got, who undoubtedly wants to be, as I said, just as successful as a. As a, as a manager, as he was, as, a, as an outstanding player for that football club, and wants to, to carve a reputation. And I think when you look at <coughs> at managers, you talk about managers destined, players destined to be managers, as as uh, uh, as, as you would say. And I think Frank was obviously going to always going to be one of those.